Let's take a quick look at setting up compositing guides inside of your viewport. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing it very well. Now this is a very back to basic tutorial, but it's one of these features that goes a little bit unnoticed inside the Blender, but it's actually incredibly powerful. Now what I've done here is I've downloaded this asset from Sketchfab. Now generally my bread and butter is doing product render shots. So having the ability to add compositing guidelines in your viewport, it's a godsend to be honest and I'll explain why in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly set up my camera, I'll press Control, Alt and Numpad 0. And what I'll quickly do here is I'll just go to the view and I'll just lock the camera and it means we can move the camera around in the viewport. Now with the camera selected, go to the camera data properties, go down to viewport, go down to compositing guides and you can see here we have a whole bunch of different options. Now generally the one that I use is the rule of thirds. So as you can see when I enable it, it'll add a compositing guidelines to the viewport. Now this is perfect because sometimes you get clients that say, I don't think that image is in the middle. And this is where you can actually use the viewport guidelines to prove them wrong. <laughs> so just as an additional feature, what you can actually do is go to window and you can save the screenshot and this will save it with the guidelines. So you can actually say, no, look, it's actually sitting perfect in the scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly center. Now, one of the advantages of using compositing guidelines, the client may ask to be centered on a specific object. So what you can actually do here is you can put center and you can put diagonal and you'll notice that we have a perfect kind of cross section. So we can zoom in perfectly to what we want to focus on. So something like that. So that really is the advantages of using compositing guidelines. It's one of these features that really doesn't get utilized as much as it probably should. But anyway, do me a favor guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it helps me out big time. Follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.